Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This intraday market report is for Monday, August the 1st, 2016. As we take a look here, uh, the stock in focus is Tesla. And you can see right now this market is still in a negative pulse wave, flatlined in a trading range, and it's trying to go positive but struggling currently trading at 231.61 momentum coming off a bit from let excuse me from last week and so it's going to be interesting to see as this stock has been in the news all day uh, on CNBC uh, speaking of its uh, acquisition and uh, I don't know I mean right now as you can see uh, the, the stock has had a really nice run up from from this uh, previous uh, collapse in price just went straight up in a straight line which is very rare and then it corrected came down corrected a little, a little bit more than 50 percent of that move and now we're back up here trying to test and I don't know if it's going to double top here and then roll over or what but right now uh, this market has resistance at 240.88 so as you can see um, it's still up in the air what's gonna happen we'll just have to play it out okay our next stock in focus on the intraday here is solar city uh, as you can see this market this stock is in a bear market and has been in a bear market situation for some time all right, and not only that, but it is negatively pulse waving, and it seems to be no end in sight. Kind of flatlining now, as you can see, not oversold yet, so it has a little bit more downside to go. But this market has strong resistance overhead right now at uh, 42.52. So uh, $42.52 is strong resistance uh, for this stock. This one's dead in the water. It's it's just a short candidate right now. It's being sold after the last run up here into overbought. It, it locked in a little bit, but really couldn't get anything going here. All it did was bump its head on the trend line, and now it's starting to come off a little bit. We'll see if it uh, if activity picks up and people come in here and start bidding it back up. If so, first resistance is going to be at the 3228 long term trend line resistance. That's going to be the uh, the first the first order of business before it even tries to attempt to get back up into the $40 handle. So this one's this one's uh how, how they call it back in the uh the first Wall Street mo movie. He said this is wood. <laughs> the, this stock is wood. Uh the, the time to get out of out of long positions was way back when way back when. You know, back here in uh 2014. So if you didn't get out of longs in 2014, you are kind of stuck right now. Uh, the only thing you can do is uh, is play defense on this, and you should have been doing that um, for quite some time. If you're holding this, you you, you should be uh, you should be writing premiums against your positions. But anyhow, anywho, uh, let's move on to our next uh, intraday candidate. All right, our next subject is Mickey D's. Mickey D's is bouncing off this uh, oversold condition right here. Didn't quite hit the oversold, but it's kind of like playing around, flirting with it. It's right here at this trend line. This is a dangerous area. This is where you want to buy. This is You want to buy. You want to get ready to buy this, but you can't do it unless the momentum picks up. You got a little bit more picker up a in the momentum before this thing can even get a, a, a chance to run up. And if it does, it's going to go from where it is now to 122.12. 122.12 is the first trend line resistance. And then from there, you can try to get it going. Now, here's what it has going for it. Technically speaking, it's in a positive pulse wave scenario. It's in a bullish trend, and it's in a positive pulse wave scenario. The market is well supported right now at uh, 116.33 market is well supported at 116.33 all right so with that being said you would want to see um, the market trade above that and not close below that 
all right it could spike below that but you don't want to see a close below that if we're going to maintain the bullish positioning of Mickey D's so I would like to say if we can put it in McDonald's terms right now because this is Monday you, you got a little chicken McNugget right here all right you got a chicken McNugget all right you're hoping that this chicken McNugget can at least turn into a Big Mac if it gets up to the 122.12 you got a Big Mac all right right now it's it's worth a nibble here on a small position because the last time we got down here the market did bounce up which is good all right every time it usually hits a trend line it reacts and comes up okay uh, you know here is where it stopped doing that okay it, it collapsed it went below it got to here and then corrected now though since we're now in in phase in phase three yeah, this is one this is two phase three coming down here technically speaking you can make the argument that phase three will be at, at the lower end of the Kumo cloud down in here in this um, you know below 110 so ah, this is a tough one have to watch it to see what happens like I said though you do not want to see price action trade below 116 33 as long as it can stay above that you're good to go when when should you know when to buy this on an intraday basis right now you're looking for your momentum at 11970 all right as of right now 11970 is going to be your momentum if you hit that all right that should catapult this up to the 12212 it'll probably spike it get somewhere around 12405 so in a nutshell for Mickey D's how to turn a McNugget into a Big Mac you need for the market to break the 11970 all right and if it, if it if it triggers that you get long there and then you want to ride it up to the 12405 initial price target that's how you turn a McNugget into a Big Mac however a McNugget can turn into a nasty McRib if it breaks support at 116.33 if it breaks 116.33 then technically speaking you're short and you're riding it to this uh, between I will say between 110 and 106 is going to be the target on the downside for playing Mickey D's let's move on to our next candidate alright let's take a look at Pretty Ricky Pretty Ricky Richmond Mining right now you hit the 1126 so you have a continuation pattern of this breakout now the market seems to be taking a break up in here it's locking in it's looking really sexy right now uh, on an intraday basis we don't want to see prices drop below uh, 1026 which is a buck from where you are now those who took my advice and locked in that stop you're looking pretty alright so that's all I can say on that Notice how the intraday momentum price that I just gave you is a dollar away from this price to the penny. And I gave you this last week. Remember I gave you the way to put your stop last week. Very interesting how the pulse waves are sometimes a predictor of price momentum. And it, it picks these precise support and resistance zones in advance so you know where the quote unquote smart money ie the algorithms the bots are going to sniff around and 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 pick these up and run stops okay that's all I'm gonna say I'll leave that at li uh, I'll leave it at that let's move on to our next candidate alright you can see here looking at the gold futures gold futures is trying to do a little something try to get something started here uh, you figure we topped out last week at 1362 and so far we hit 1361.10 so it's trying to maintain the bullish momentum getting lofty up here this is where the test is going to be at market's going to try to close above 1367.40 this week alright shouldn't be difficult it only needs about 8 bucks it can make it happen can it do it market is still well supported down here at 1257.60 now and you know your, your your trend lines here are rising which is great that's what you want to see and um, we'll have to keep our eyes and ears open and see what happens on this one 
on an intraday basis let's see here your long positions are supported right now on an intraday price level you don't want to see us trade below 1344 even as long as the market stays above 1344 your longs are safe if it breaks 1344 that's when the sellers are going to come in at 1344 and push this market down don't want to see that so you're still bullish now you move your stop to 1344 if you're trailing this from last week if you're flat on the sidelines waiting to get something going you're looking at the 1344 to possibly get short all right let's take a look at silver all right taking a look now at the silver silver is well supported as you can see at 1738 this week and where is the price action on this one well momentum's coming off a little bit and on an intraday level uh, we have support at 2004 as long as the market can stay above 2004 you should be good if you're bullish from last week you probably want to put your stop to 2004 if 2004 is triggered that will bring in the shorts to beat the market back down as much as one full dollar that is correct that will be at the 1904 handle and that will put us about right somewhere around this uh, blue trend line right here somewhere within there all right so that's that's what you're looking at uh, if that's broken then that puts us to the 1876 all right so once again you want to see the market stay above 2004 if 2004 is hit then you know on an intraday basis you look you're going toward the first stop at 1988 second stop 1817 all right so that's where we're looking to go if that intraday price uh, is triggered on the silver. Last but not least, let's look at some volatility. All right, looking at the UVXY, you can see that uh, this one is pretty much quiet. Not a lot going on, but it has been repriced. Therefore, on this one on an intraday basis, uh, let's see here. You're looking for a break above the, I want to call it, 56.62 on the upside long term. If that momentum can get hit, then what you're looking at at that point is a run back up to around 70. And that's based on a major event happening in this market. All right. Major event has to happen for that to happen. On an intraday basis, uh, let's see, going forward, we're looking at 25.76. All right, for those on the sidelines on the UVXY, basically this is what it boils down to. You're, you're waiting for an opportunity, all right? On, because it's been repriced on the long side, there's nothing you can do. All right, all things being equal. If we get something catastrophic in the market and volatility goes bananas, then this market should, based on the repricing and calculations, should be able to run up to about $56.62. That's basically what I'm saying. Uh, barring that, then you're looking at a different scenario. So let's track it from the intraday basis. All right, on an intraday basis, this is what you're looking at. You're looking at resistance at 2576. A break above that should put the market above the 2665 upside resistance and then retest the 2992 level. This is on an intraday basis. Barring that, you're waiting basically for the next short because there, there's, the, the short trade is the crowded trade right now. And so basically you're, you're waiting is all I can say. The last short was triggered at 29.74. So it's already well into, into this, you know, almost six bucks. So you're waiting basically for the next short because basically, you know, what it, what it pans out is you're going to be, you're going to be shorting this after after the next attempt at a breakout. You're going to be shorting it, and then from that point, you would take quick profits on the long side, and then you would get um, you would get short again. You're basically waiting for a scenario like this, except for the next pop up should take you up closer to the trend line before the next pop. Unlike this one, all right, shouldn't be a clip. It should be a pop. So that's what you're waiting for on the next one, on the UVXY. Well, with that said, that's all we got for the intraday snapshot. 
Uh, be back after the close. And remember, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. So take what you can, give nothing back.